so it is day six 2022 archery deer hunt here in the sandias day eight for the rest of the hunt for whoever has been hunting as long as we have or longer we've logged in over 50 miles for sure after today um, we are at the midpoint to the day uh, this morning we well not we well i guess we could be included in that but of course darian and pumpkin blast up some bucks and those we're hoping to find another big one in here because they seem to like this area uh, it's windy and cold right now darian and pumpkin went to go take his buck to go get the euro done on his and they're going to be going back to where we were yesterday evening getting to a vantage point and glassing um, i think levi and i will try this other bend over here where we're seeing deer uh, and where he missed one yesterday morning um, that seems to be a pretty good e area for the evening as well <coughs> so i guess just sit here um oh and we saw a few other does uh, on that bench we were at earlier uh, talking with Kirk and I guess he his son missed a forky this morning at 63 yards shot over him they were after a three by three I don't know how big he was but we know where they're at but they're all in private so I don't know it seems to be too good for things not to be wandering around but they have been pressured a lot in this area so I've seen a lot of hunters definitely the slowest start to our hunt this morning Just trying to be positive and hoping for the best this evening okay well where anything goes we said so this is the one that we have a chance at so Levi's going for him right now Levi and Darian we'll see if our arrow flies does he see us or done? Oh, I must say. Where is he going? Are they close? They're on this side. Look, you see Levi's beanie from her. You see them? Mm -hmm. So you see where the buck is? Go to the left. You're walking up. Getting close. This guy reeking or something. Oh, he hears them up. Oh, sure. Can you see Levi? They're going back one up. It's on alert. from the buck you think mm, 75 uh oh because they move back around for this shot okay yeah. here's the update um levi and darian went to put on the stock i was going to record from here which i did he saw the buck and then as he was moving right uh i didn't get the the shot when he was about to spook he did i don't think levi shot because it didn't look like he was hit so i was kind of reluctant for him to go after it just because it was a little guy 
but anything goes we said too at the same time so i know we've passed up bigger forks than that one that's the only reason why i've been reluctant or i was reluctant on that little guy <sighs> so one more day to go so we'll see what happens it's just me and pump up here so we'll see what tomorrow has in store for us for our final final day I'm going all seven days so it's been a tough hunt those are by themselves we thought on thanksgiving i saw that one buck running on the other side of the mountain we saw the buck running on the road um, by the houses but not the same here in the hunting area i saw bucks this morning but they were in private so that's been the the downfall of this area is that they go into the private section where they're safe so that's the update we'll be headed out as soon as they get here and try again tomorrow okay so it is the final day of levi's archery deer hunt and it's been a slow start only seeing three does and we're pretty much out of juice we brought pat with us today so he's our motivation to keep pushing and grinding but my body is definitely hurting today my back my legs everything's sore i think after today will be over 70 miles of hiking um but definitely had a fun hunt so far um it's been a tough one though tougher than years past seen bucks every day except for this morning we haven't seen anything yet um as we saw yesterday levi had a chance at another little guy now that we've had a rough start to the morning i guess it wasn't so bad that he did let it fly but the buck jumped the string so um that's what happened yesterday um we were recording it and then the buck moved and that i guess that's when levi shot and i didn't catch that on my phone scope so as you can see the hunter and our other glasser are drained pumpkin has been hunting started his hunt at unit 30 got a buck and then decided to join us here and it's been it's been a grind for him as well he's he said his body's hurting today too uh levi started off pretty motivated and now he's just snacking away as usual uh we talked to the other guys that are here they were they missed up forky earlier um got 45 yards I'm sure miles is pretty down mm, but it's the way it goes it's, it was not so cold of a morning to start it off and now it's, it seems like the temperature's dropped so we'll see what happens i think we're gonna change locations so we have pat glassing like crazy uh darian didn't come today he was a huge help just picking out deer left and right for those few days that he was with us um so that's what's going on hopefully we get a shot at one today and hopefully we fill a tag if not it's okay it's been a grind and i think looking back at these videos later on I'll realize how much fun we actually had and be looking forward to another opportunity up here next time because I know this area is a very good unit. Some years are better than others. This definitely was a, a down year, but anything can happen. So we'll see what happens. Okay, it's 4th and 10, as we like to call it, the last few hours of the hunt. And we were able to locate a forky. He is way up there. Uh, Pat and Levi are going after him. Me and Pumpkin are up here keeping tabs on him. Hopefully we can do a good job of this. Usually it's Pat's job, but I am worn out. I, I can't make it up that mountain that fast. Um, so I'm, Pat's got fresh legs and Levi's still young. So um, that's why I told him to go after them. Uh, we have a pretty good game plan. Um, I think uh, it's a better game plan this time around than the last time we were here. So as long as we can keep taps on that. The only problem is there's a lot of deer in there, a lot of does, one forky. So maybe more bucks would, or another buck would join in, who knows. But hopefully 
can make it happen. It's going to get interesting and exciting here, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'll give you an update here in a bit. So Pat and Levi actually make it across a lot faster than I thought they would. I was looking for a while for them and then um, I had to text or call Pat and he told me that they were pretty much at that boulder where I had told them uh, to set up and try to ambush them. So we actually located the big redding buck we had seen on Thanksgiving. So that's who they were trying to make a move on. There was actually a, a smaller forky with them. So that's what we, what our game plan was. So as we found out later on from Pat is that that buck was actually wounded and we got close, but just things didn't pan out. So that was our last chance. Okay, so <clears throat> let me update you on what happened. So Levi and Pat were set up on some boulders behind us where we had seen the same buck and some does on Thursday. And I thought they were gonna make the same trip down from the mountain, but they ended up working right about 200 yards above them to the right. And I figured since it's the final day, the best I could do was try to push them back down toward them. So I came down the knob we were glassing from, ran down, ran across, tried to run up this steep mountain. Almost killed myself doing it. I got cactus all in my pants. And I was too low from the group of deer that were making their way of sight the mountain. I was able to push two does back down. Pumpkin texted me saying that the deer were moving back toward Pat and Levi. So as I started to crest over to see it, that was what really was really happening. I saw the does moving up. Then I saw the buck a little lower. And we said it's the same buck that was hit earlier from what the kid told us down by the parking lot. I didn't think he was moving fast. So I tried to run across and cut him off to scoop him back down to Levi and Pat. And He's too strong. He lives up here, he knows the terrain. So he bounded up the mountain while I huffed and puff. And that was it. So that's how Levi Hunt hunt ends. Uh, we're seeing bucks every day. We were up here. So we can't complain. It's a good hunt regardless. Um, I wish things ended with the success of a big buck. That was his goal to kill a bigger buck than what he got the last time up here. But sometimes things don't work out like that. You got opportunities on some forkies. I think we passed up six or seven of them. And one was at 26 yards from the video you saw the first day. Others were at 40 yards. Those are the best opportunities you got at shooting a deer. It's definitely a hard hunt. Not a lot of big bucks to be seen. We only saw that big 4x4. That was the biggest buck we saw the whole trip. Uh, I don't think that many tags were filled. So it was a tough, tough hunt. I think I lost weight because of this hunt, which is a good thing. But I'm probably getting it back because of the holidays now. and The off season. So it's been an awesome hunting season. I truly enjoyed it myself. It's probably one of the most hunting I've ever done in a season. And too bad we went 0 for 2 on, on deer. We went 4 or 5 on elk. So I guess we can't complain. So next time, that concludes the hunt. Peace out. This is the 2022 hunting season. I hope you all enjoyed the series. We look forward to producing more content in the future. And thanks again for watching.